character, but he is a character. And so uh, he is going to go tonight. Uh, having watched your team play on tape many times so far this year, we're going to have to have an outstanding night from Okanara. He's going to have to be really good. Uh, Dave and his staff, again, have put together a bloody juggernaut. Uh, I'm watching Cristo, and I'm watching Knight, and I'm watching the whole cast of the usual suspects who are just, I mean, you know, when they have the puck, they're dynamic, and when they don't have the puck, they play so hard defensively, and, and it's that time of year again, damn it, where I just wish it was always October. <laughs> because, because I know we wouldn't have to worry about the suit. <laughs> but it's December, and Dave's got his team getting playing really well, and they're getting better and better, and they're starting to feel really good about uh, how they're playing. And uh, you know how that goes. And we've seen that occur over the last number of years, as everybody else in this league has, has seen it. Uh, you know, last weekend, we had a pretty good start to the season, and you know, we had a lot of question marks. Last weekend, we had Wisconsin in town. And uh, we got one point. Uh, Wisconsin, as you all know, really struggled. And uh, we were great medicine for them. <laughs> we barely got a tie out of the Friday night game. We had, we had to score late in, in the last minute of the play after pulling our goaltender to tie it up. We wound up as a, we didn't need a team score in overtime. And then Saturday night, I thought we played better than we did on Friday night. Wisconsin got an early lead, we gave the puck away twice in our zone, they scored twice, and then they just kind of sat back and blocked almost every attempt we had on goal. They blocked so many shots, they did a great job. And they're not as bad as their record indicates. And so uh, we come here with a little bit, uh, our egos are bruised a little bit, we know that uh, we're bruised physically a little bit, and we know that we're probably going to be bruised a little bit more at the end of this series. However, I, I can tell you that as much as we detest your team, <laughs> we're kind of tied at the hip. <laughs> you know, uh, I know that for both of us, this is the last season in this long time WCHA. And both of us are moving into the national. And there's a lot of question marks and a lot of comments and a lot of speculation but I, I think it's great that the University of North Dakota and the University of Denver will remain tied at the hip enemies but keeping your enemies as close as possible uh, <laughs> in this new conference and so uh, it, it's you know I, I'm certainly looking forward and, and uh, we're gonna celebrate this season, our final season in the WCHA, but certainly with an eye on what's happening down the road once next fall comes around. It's gonna be even more special, I believe. Um, uh, let's see, uh, one other thing I wanted to mention here uh, before I sit down. Um, I can't remember. Al, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, I, I know what I don't. I, I will if I've got probably one minute to answer one or two quick questions. So if anybody has any questions about the pioneers, oh, I know. I want to introduce uh, Randy Press. Randy is our new director of media relations for hockey. Uh, if those of you who remember Eric Bacher, the bald hair, bald headed guy, he went to the University of Virginia Cavaliers. Uh, Another bald-headed guy came in to take care of spot. So Randy, will you please step, stand and be recognized. <laughs> so, having said all that stuff, uh, if there's no questions, I will see you all at the ring tonight. Thank you.